In this lecture, we are going to understand how to update the context value. Many times, you need to update the context store value to change the status. Let's take a look at how to update the value of the context API in the React application. I'm going to use my previous example and show you how you can update the context API. I'm going to just simply open my homepage.js file. We already learned that how to create this file in the previous lecture. In the previous lecture, we understand how to use the consumer. If you don't know about how to create a consumer, you can check out the video on the top right corner of the screen. Let me get rid of this content. Inside this home page, I'm going to first create here render to render the JSX like this and I'm going to return JSX. Inside this return statement, I'm going to create a division tag and a button with on click event. But for the button, I'm going to say update context user. That's about new. You can name anything here inside this button. To this button, I'm going to specify on click event. I'm going to call here on click event like this and specify a handler function here. That's about you. You can create a handler function inside this component as well. I'm going to create an inline handler function. So inside this curly braces, I'm going to create here an arrow function like this and say here constant new user is equal to and I'm going to specify here an object with name snow and logged in true status. Just after that, just after this button right down here, I'm going to simply create a paragraph in the curly braces in the backtick operator. I'm going to say current user and then I'm going to specify here dollar and curly braces to print a variable. Now what I'm going to do is inside this home page, I'm going to create two variables user and set user. I will do that after a few minutes but just for now just leave this statement as it is and back to your store you can notice here in my store i have this create context my provider and a consumer instead of using this provider component i'm going to create my own component here so i can pass my value to it and update my value whenever i want so instead of this statement let me just create my component inside this file so just down here i'm going to say export class user provider and this is going to extend the react component class you can notice this is a standard react class component there is nothing special about it inside this class i'm going to first create my state as you know to create a state we can use the constructor or we can directly use state inside this class i'm going to use the state directly i'm going to first create a command context state and i'm going to say here state is equal to and inside this curly braces, I'm going to say user and pass an empty object. Right now, the default value of this user state is empty object. Just out of that, I'm going to create a method to update this state value. So, I'm going to say here set user is equal to and I'm going to pass here a function. Just out of that, to the set user, inside this parenthesis, I'm going to specify user as a parameter. And inside this set user here, I'm going to say console.log. Let me first print this user and then here I'm going to set this dot set state. As you know, to update the state value, we use set state method. Inside this method, I'm going to call here a callback function. Using this callback function, I can access the previous state value. So here I can pass previous state. So this parameter can give me the previous value of the state. Just for your reference, I use here a parameter. We are not using it. Inside this function, I'm going to return this user. So here I'm going to pass parentheses and in the object, I'm going to say here user. I'm going to return this parameter value. So when we call this set user, I'm going to pass value to this parameter and specify that value to this state. As you know, every function must have the render method. So I'm going to say here render and inside this render method, I'm going to just simply return my provider. So I'm going to say here return and pass here parenthesis. Inside this parenthesis, I'm going to return my provider. So I'm going to call here a component and say user context. I'm going to just simply call this user context variable and call a provider. So I'm going to say here user context dot provider. And then I'm going to close this component. And as you know, inside this component, I can have my child components. If I specify the child component here, then I need to add my every component inside that child component. For example, let's say if I just specify here user component like this, then I need to create T1 
different child component of this user component to access the provider value. To solve this problem, I can just simply get rid of this user component and here I can pass children property. Let me show you what I want to say. Let me just specify here div and empty div and right here inside this render method at the top I'm going to say console.log and print this. As you know this is refers to the current object. As you can see I'm going to get first a warning you don't have the value property to the provider. Let me specify here value property value reload the browser and as you can see here I'm going to get the user provider component. Inside this user provider component you can notice here I have context props and inside this props you have two properties children and value inside the value we have the previous context value which is named tuition and logged in true now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this children property so I can pass different children's inside this user provider at the top here I'm going to say constant using this object using JavaScript destructuring feature I'm going to just get this children like this and I'm going to get that from this dot props. I'm going to get this property from this object. So this statement is going to get the value of the children property inside this variable. Just so that once I get this children value, I'm going to get this state as well as this set user. To do that, I'm going to just simply say here constant. In the object, I'm going to say user is equal to this dot state. You can notice here if you expand this state then you can notice you have here a user I'm going to just extract that user value just out of that just down here I'm going to say constant in the object set user is equal to this and I have set user inside this object so I'm going to just access that by extracting it just out of that once I have all these values I can pass them to this provider as I said Inside this provider, you have to specify your child component, which is going to use your context value. I'm going to use here children property. So inside the curly braces, I'm going to say here children. Doing this can get the properties of the parent component. So I'm going to pass here children and to this value here, I'm going to just simply pass an object and inside it, I'm going to say user and set user. You can notice I'm going to just get the user, specify that to this value and then I'm going to get set user and specify that to this provider. So using this object, I'm going to initialize this provider value property. Just out of that, once you create your provider, save it and back to your home page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back to my home page and first I'm going to initialize the context property. As you know, to initialize the context property, you need to first get the user context. So from the store, Right from here, I'm going to first get this user context in my home page. Let me get rid of these curly braces and I'm going to say here user context. Inside this class, I'm going to say static context type is equal to user context. Once you initialize this statement, you will get the context property to this component. So inside this render statement, here I'm going to say console.log and print this dot context back to my browser and reload it. I'm going to get user and set user function. Right now the user is empty and inside this set user I have function, a callback function. Let me use it inside my home page. So here instead of this console.log, I'm going to just simply say constant and I'm going to destructure the user and set user property from this dot context like this. Now once I done that, I can use this set user inside this component. So I'm going to say here set user and inside it I'm going to pass new user, this variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just call this set user from user provider component. So I'm going to call this method inside this home page and specify this value as a parameter. So once I have this value to this parameter, this will just update this state and I'm going to have this new user value to this state. But this will happen when I click on this button because as you know, we have the on click event and inside that I have this function. Now, just for that, once you understand this, inside this current user right here, 
I'm going to pass here dollar curly braces and then I'm going to say user dot name. I'm going to access this user and from it I'm going to access the name property. Now let me save this. When I reload the browser I'm going to get here undefined because right now I don't have any initialization to my state. You can notice here we have here an empty user object. When I click on this update context user this will just call this button of this home page this one and it's going to update the state value or you can say the context value as you know we have the state inside this context the button is going to update this state value so when i click on this update context as you can see i'm going to get here the context value and then inside this state i have this state value you can notice here so using this technique you can update the context api value practice with this code to understand how it works I hope you understand how to update the context value in the React application.